Welcome to the tutorial to wind an 868 MHz uh, LoRa antenna following a design we published uh, online by Fabian Ferrero. Uh, what you need is a 1.4 mm uh, piece of uh, TIG welding wire with copper coating, pliers, a marker, any kind of a rod of the appropriate diameter uh, for winding uh, the loops, um, and a ruler to measure distances. So what We'll start is firstly measuring the bottom end of the antenna, which has the distance of 174 millimeters. However, at this point, we'll leave this to be a bit longer, so we'll say 18 centimeters, 180 millimeters. At this point, we'll use the pliers um, to do a 90 degree turn in the wire, and we simply do a nice 90 degree turn of the sorts. Then we will take um, our rod of the appropriate diameter. So for this wire specifically to get a 28 millimeter outer diameter of the loop we need a 21 millimeter uh, diameter of rod and that you determine experimentally. Simply take the wire you have, wind it a few times, measure the outer diameter and adjust the diameter of the rod you're winding things on. Now we take the wire with the 90 degree bend, we put it on our rod of the appropriate diameter, clamp it down with the pliers, and then run the wire around the rod to achieve a nice perfect loop. We run the wire along until we are parallel with the start of the bend. So have a wire bound with one loop of the sorts. Then we take the pliers again um, and do another 90 degree bend so we end up with the first loop of the antenna. Okay. Now we measure the distance from the center of the loop so the next one, um, what depending on the wire is usually easier to do is take the distance between the two loops, uh, remove say one uh, or two millimeters, so roughly the thickness of the loop if we measure it here, um, and then just use that distance. So between the two loops there's 221 millimeters, so I'll mark 219 uh, millimeters here. So, we take the wire where we have marked the distance and we do another 90 degree bend which needs to be aligned with this one. So, what's easiest to do is take the wire here, make sure the loop is pointing downwards and then just rotate the wire towards yourself into a 90 degree bend. So now we are at this step where we have one loop and a 90 degree bend. We repeat the process of winding the loop by, it's important to note that it must be done in the same direction as the other one, so I'm going to wrap the wire with the pliers, clamp it down, and do the loop. You need to rotate slightly past the point first, because then the, when the wire unwinds a bit, you can see that the loop gets slightly bigger than our core here. Now we do our 90 degree turn on the loop. There we go. If it's a bit sideways, like in this example, you simply adjust it by hand to achieve the right configuration. And now we measure the last distance, which is in this case 186 millimeters. We will mark two millimeters less, uh, it is 184 millimeters. And marking it here on the wire again, the 90 degree bend needs to be aligned with this one. So if I do it from this direction. We observe this one, it's to go towards me, so I will 
do this. Okay. We will do the loop in the same direction as the previous one. So we mark the direction, take the pliers, again repeat the process. Finding the last one is easiest as we have a very short piece of wire still here. We can wind it a bit further uh, as we'll see we clip the wire at this point. So we'll take the pliers and we'll just clip the wire here. With this, we have the antenna, which we might need to straighten up a bit. So, you simply do that by hand, straighten it out very nicely. And then, the final step of this antenna is just making sure that the end tail is of the appropriate length, uh, which is defined in this plan as 174 millimeters. So, we will mark it as such. And we will clip the wire on the mark. So we've completed the collinear antenna, which we now need to solder either directly to the board or to an SMA or RPSMA connector and fit to our circuit or our LoRa concentrator.